Ladies and gentlemen, if you really wanted this Burger Town special bundle, you can now put my creator code FATCOCKFOOLY for 0% off in the store right now. In addition to this, you can now purchase the E-Tool in Cold War for 150,000 COD points if you just put creator code FATCOCKFOOLY in the shop for 0% off. That's right guys, 0% off. I'm definitely for sure never getting a creator code now. Yo, what's going on guys? It's the boy Fully and I'm bringing you guys another video right here on Black Ops Cold War and hopefully today is the last time I ever have to talk about Modern Warfare 2019 or the Moab Battle Pass Mother of All Burglaries because apparently it's not actually coming out and I'm actually really happy about that. But before we get into anything make sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new. We just hit 800 subscribers which is absolutely ridiculous so thank you for that and make sure to go follow me on Twitter and Instagram at ifully 2 wise at the end for more information about what's going to happen when I hit a thousand subs because we're on the road to that and so uh, let's get right into it so on Wednesday I made a video about the Moab battle pass that was supposedly coming out in modern warfare that was supposed to include 600 items worth of content through battle passes one through six and I was one of very few people who said this thing should not come out and it's really stupid if you buy this thing and not a lot of people were happy with me saying that you shouldn't spend a hundred goddamn dollars in call of duty especially not in modern warfare and then lo and behold just a day or two later we got news that that not only is this thing not coming out, it was supposed to come out like a year and a goddamn half ago, and not only that, but this thing wasn't meant to have the amount of content that we thought it was gonna have, and in fact, it was only supposed to have the season one battle pass with 100 tier skips, and get this guys, this thing was supposedly still supposed to come out for $100 or 10,000 COD points. Now there's a couple of people who are saying that it wasn't actually gonna be that amount and that that number was just a placeholder amount until they actually came up with a real price. But if we're gonna be honest, there is a part of me that truly believes they're gonna sell this thing for 10,000 COD points. But at the end of the day, none of that really matters anymore because apparently this thing is just not coming out, which honestly, I'm really happy for. Like I said before, and I'm always gonna stand by this, that thing would have been a waste of your money. I can't tell you how many people said they were gonna spend $100 on a rose skin. But here's the official tweet from COD Tracker. They say, we're seeing a lot of speculation surrounding the $100 mother of all burglaries that recently surfaced. Sorry to disappoint. I'm not disappointed. This bundle has lived in the files since 2019. It contains two items, the Modern Warfare Season 1 Battle Pass activation and 100 tier skips. They go on to say, as always, this information is subject to change and is based on the current state of the data related to the bundle. In its current state, we do not expect to see it released. Well, there we have it, as of right now at least, and hopefully we for the remainder of goddamn forever, this thing is not coming out. Also, very quickly, I wanted to address some of the people who were saying that I was a hater for saying Modern Warfare 2019's multiplayer was ass because honestly, it's ass. To those people, I just really wanna say, I'm so sorry because Modern Warfare 2019's multiplayer experience was actually incredible. The first month of the game's release didn't have a mini map. There was never red dots on the map when somebody shot. There was doors, claymore, shotguns, no dead silence, no prestiging, there was mounting in the game. I really loved that game. That game was really good. Modern Warfare 2019's multiplayer is the best multiplayer in all multiplayer history. Obviously, I'm joking. The Modern Warfare 2019 multiplayer experience was absolute donkey ass, and I'm always gonna stand by that, so I'm sorry for that. But there we have it, guys. The Moab bundle pack is not coming out. It's gonna stay vaulted, hopefully, and hopefully we never see the return of this thing. There's also something I wanted to bring up that I learned about from the comments when I made the video. Apparently there was a thing that was called the bundle vault or the vault bundle which included content from the season one battle pass and maybe the season two battle pass too if I remember correctly and it was pretty much just a bundle that came with some of the content from the battle pass and I don't remember how much it was but it couldn't have been something too expensive honestly and that's something that I feel like a lot of people would have preferred over the Moab battle pass. Now if you read through some of the comments on that video I responded to a lot of people who were saying that they only wanted this thing for the rose skin or for like the ghost skin or for the captain price skin or for a couple of blueprints and i responded to a lot of these people by asking them if they would have preferred having a separate bundle for the thing that they wanted and the number was somewhere around 10 to 1 how many people would have actually bought the bundle of the specific thing that they wanted instead of buying the mother of all burglaries and i think that just goes to show how many people actually didn't want this thing but only wanted it so that they can get the rose skin or the ghost skin or one specific
specific thing that they missed out on out of 600 total items. Now, personally, I'm somebody who's always gonna trash Activision whenever they make a stupid idea like the mother of all burglaries, but honestly, this vault bundle thing that they were coming up with was actually a great idea. That's right, one of these members from Activision, one of these guys right here, actually came up with a good idea. Unfortunately, they probably figured that this wasn't gonna make them that much money, so they scrapped it, and at least for that time then, it seemed like they were gonna go with this mother of all burglaries instead. Apparently, this thing was available to certain people only, and it was being tested out, kind of like a beta sort of thing. And from what I know, this thing got a lot of great reviews, but for some reason, they just decided to scrap it. And now when I look at this picture of the board of decision making over at Ast Division, I'm actually not surprised that they decided not to go this route. Also, I don't want a lot of people to start thinking that I think they're stupid for wanting this Moab Battle Pass. The fact of the matter is, there was a much better option on the table, and they decided not to go with it. So I can only say, Activision is pretty f***ed up for choosing to go that route instead. Well, I guess it doesn't even truly matter what I or anybody else thinks about the pass because it's actually not going to come out. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Are you happy that this thing got scrapped? Or do you think they should have gone the route with the bundle vaults? Because personally, I think that was a better idea. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. So leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been the boy Fully. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out of here. Two.